hard. It was much, much harder than I thought it would be. Can't speak for other individuals, but certainly, yeah, you know, a mixture of the altitude, the cold, um, the actual terrain itself was far more difficult and challenging than we ever thought it would be. Uh, you know, it should have been relatively smooth, as you would expect ice to be, um, but there were, you know, most of the terrain that we covered was covered with uh, ridges, anything from a foot to three feet deep. So, um, so yeah, the sledges we had, or the pulks as they're known, uh, would often get caught in those. You were about 10 feet ahead of the sledge, probably in another ridge. So as you're trying to clamber out of that, your sledge is pulling you back. And, and obviously with the race elements as well, you're trying to go as quickly as possible. Um, and as I said, that's when the, the altitude then kicks in. Um, you're at sort of 3,000 metres altitude. Um, so just getting acclimatised to that was hard. And then with the weather thrown in and you know temperatures down to about minus 45 on some of the worst days, yeah, it was, uh, it was much harder than any of us thought it would be. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. You know, uh, I'm a big believer in if you train hard enough for something, you know, you're not going to find it a terrible sort of ordeal. And uh, yeah, I trained hard for a year and got down there and enjoyed every minute of it. To be honest with you, it was it was fantastic. It was it was an amazing place to be and uh, very lucky to be there. He comes straight in. You know, there was no no hanging about. He just got straight in, part of the team, and uh, he was fantastic. You know, strong. Uh, he'd be up there every day, you know, pushing the pace. He was absolutely brilliant, fantastic guy. Like, he's one of the team. You know, he was never sort of anyone that was given any special treatment. He didn't want special treatment, and he wouldn't have got it. Um, so he was a, a team member, contributed a huge, huge amount, uh, and was there to help us all out as and when we needed. So, you know, we all we all had, um, you know, a few bad days out there, as you are going to when you when you're there and you're working as a close team, and, and you know, we helped each other as much as we could. But he also brings a huge amount of media attention and you know as a proud serviceman he wants to make sure that the focus doesn't go off injured servicemen and women now that Iraq and Afghanistan are slowly sort of uh, declining in terms of interest to the public. <laughs> Yeah.